I didn't open this yesterday, so I don't... Oh, no, it looks broken. <gasps> oh, God, I'm going to be so sad if it's broken. Oh, God. What's up, guys? I'm so excited because I spent more money on makeup. <laughs> so much money. Oops. Not sorry. Anyway, I'm really, really excited because I got a bunch of products for like very little, honestly. Um, now I will go with the Catalyst. They are not classified as high-end products. These are more affordable brands. Um, they're well-known brands, but they're just more affordable. So I was able to actually get 20 products for only $100. Um, I split it up into two orders. It was stuff that I had in my cart. But your girl loves a free gift, and they were given free gifts, so I split it up so I got more free gifts, because I'm evil. And part of why I did that, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but as we grow as a channel, obviously I want to do giveaways, and so if I get free gifts or if I get extra products or things like that, it may wind up going to a giveaway uh, in the near future. So we don't really know. I always am kind of thinking about that. I'm always like stacking backups, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so that was why I broke it up into two orders. Each one was roughly $50. The first one was like $52.58. The second one was $51.83. So together, they were $100. 20 products for $100. Let's jump in. So we're gonna go in order of brand. So this is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. That's what it looks like. It's a nice warm toned palette, which I really like. I'm a reds and a pinks and a purpley person. So I like these colors, they really appeal to me. And it was on sale, it's normally 18, it was on sale for 1260. So I think that's a really good palette for under $13. But I think it's gonna be, have a really uh, good effect in that video because the only other eyeshadow palette I have from them is like really bright color. So that's why I picked that one up. Um, I also got two of the micro brow pencils from them, which I use. I, I showed it when I did my makeup bag one. And once again, I don't know if these videos are out or not yet. So if they are, then I'll link it. If not, then oh well. But these are the brow pencils. They're normally $10. I got these for $7. So both of these are $14. And I, like I said, I already have some of these, but I also want to do a dupe video, and um, I know I want to dupe this with the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eye eyebrow pencils. So I have the ABH ones in the shade Auburn now that I'm a redhead, and I decided that I wanted to get the NYX ones in Auburn as well to see how those colors compared. So that's why I bought more of them, even though I have some. I also got... I'm gonna pull these both out at the same time because they're the same product. Well, they're different products, but they're the same concept. I got two different primers from NYX, and I originally picked this one up because I think this will be a good one for a dupe because it's a pore filler. I think just based on the packaging and based on reading the description, I think it's gonna be a really good dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So that's why I picked this bad boy up. I wanted to see how it worked and kind of play with it before I did that dupe video. Um, got this one on sale for $9.80. It's normally $14, so good deal there. Um, I think all of the NYX products were like 30% off, which is why they're like weird numbers, but um, but yeah, so. And then this one, I just really wanted for my own personal investigation because I've seen a lot of stuff about it on the internet and it looks so cool. This is the NYX Professional Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. And it looks so interesting. I don't know how it's gonna react to my skin or how I'm gonna like it, but I just had to try it. I couldn't not try it. Like, look at that. It's like a jelly primer. It's so jiggly. It smells good, it smells clean. I'm so excited to play with this. If I didn't have makeup on my face right now, I'd be like, how'd it work? But I just, I've seen so many different YouTubers and makeup artists and people I follow on Instagram talking about this that I was like, you know what, I really, I can't pass up, especially when it's on sale. So this guy, I know he's normally expensive. This one was on sale for $11.90. He's normally $17. So that was a really good deal. That was about the best deal I could have hoped for on that boy. So this is the rest of the NYX stuff that I got. Um, I got their HD Studio Photogenic... Um, Oh, sorry. Nikki yelled at me about not doing stuff like that to mess up the audio. So. <laughs> sorry, Nikki. Um, anyway, so these are concealers. I've used 
this before. I haven't used it in a really long time because after I figured out, told you guys how I feel about the Ulta primer or the Ulta concealers. After I figured out that I really like them, I kind of stopped buying NYX primers. It's because I just talked about primers for 20 minutes. I'm sorry. I, I stopped buying the NYX concealers. Um, but for the NYX video, obviously I needed a concealer. So I went back to these. Um, they everything was on sale like I don't know I keep telling you guys they were on sale you all have figured that out by now they were originally um, six dollars a piece and they were on sale for just over four dollars so good deal on those um, if you can find a concealer that's a quality concealer for four bucks that's a really good deal um, this these guys I honestly just bought these for myself because I always have these in my collection um, it's what I have on my face today like I said my makeup's a little janky because I went to work and everything today so I'm sure it's starting to fade and everything. I tried to touch it up before we started filming, but it's I'm sure it's not the best it's been. Um, but this is their Stay Matte Not Flat uh, foundation. I really like it. I think it's just a good one. It's a, it's a little bit darker of a tone for my skin, so I really like to mix it with lighter foundations, and I feel like it just reacts really well to mixing with other foundations. And you guys know me. I'm a scientist, so I'm always creating my own foundations based on what I have in my kit and what I'm looking for for that day. So got two more of those. Um, they were on sale for about $5 a piece, and they're normally like $7.99 or something like that. So once again, good, good deal. Uh, this is the Stay Matte But Not Flat uh, powder foundation pick this up because you guys know that I normally when I do my makeup will put a powder foundation on top of my um, liquid foundation just to set it I like that better than just a setting powder I'll use setting powders too but I would prefer to have a foundation so I didn't I didn't open this yesterday so I don't oh no it looks broken <gasps> oh god I'm gonna be so sad if it's broken oh god oh god I can't even open it Nikki I can't even open it it's, there's powder everywhere though. It's gotta be broken. Oh no, it's not broken. Okay, thank gosh. I was so worried. Okay, so that's the color that I got. Um, it should work nicely. It kind of reminds me of the It Cosmetics um, pore refiner one. So we'll see how it compares to that. But I just got that for that NYX video once again. So, and that bad boy was, he was $6.65. So that's pretty cheap for a powder foundation, honestly. Okay, so final NYX product I got is the NYX Wonder Stick Contour. And I um, I went ahead and opened the box just to make it easier because I've been struggling to kind of pull everything out. Because I haven't, I, like I said, I didn't open anything yesterday. I just looked at the boxes. So this is this little guy right here. It's a double-sided contour stick. Um, it's got, this is like their light to medium skin tone. So I figured it would probably work for me. But it's got that side, which is the darkening, the shadowing, the contour, and then you've got the highlighting end, which is just kind of like a bright white, which would go in and kind of clean up the lines and make you brighter in the areas you want to be brighter in contrast with those dark areas. I went with this one because it was the more affordable option. Um, and honestly, unless I'm like shooketh when I use it, unless the heavens open and they say, you've been missing out on cream contour. You've learned the way, my child. I'm probably not gonna use this very often. It's probably gonna be done for that video and that's probably about it. So that was why I went with the cheaper option for that, but I did wanna have something because I knew the video was coming soon. So so I got that boy. And then, because I did two orders, your girl picked up two of these really cute cosmetic bags. I mean, and I've got one already from them that they put out like a couple, I wouldn't even want to say a month ago. It's probably a couple weeks ago. Um, and it's also lip shaped. It's red. But these are like this nice little florally pattern. And I'm guessing that was their summer collection idea. But it just opens up on the inside. And you've got like a good storage base. There's like a nice kind of velvety inside to it. So I'm a sucker. A sucker for a makeup bag. I will buy anything for a makeup bag. If it comes with a free makeup bag, I'll be like, yeah, I spent $150 on the product I would have never ever bought if you weren't offering me a 20 cent bag. I do it. So these were the other two free gifts that I got. Um, they are Mario Badascu variety bags. And that is something that Ulta does pretty much every Wednesday. I say pretty much every Wednesday. They do it every Wednesday. And I know, and I time my orders to kind of coincide with those. So I had to spend $50 to get these, which each order was just over $50. So I did a real good job of meeting that goal spent $50 and um, it, they do it for a limited time during the day so you kind of have to be watching your phone for it um, I happened to be off that day so I was able to like just kind of wait for the email to come through and put my orders in immediately but um, they normally do it from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. we are on the East Coast so that's um, 
were we Eastern time? That's such a stupid question, but yeah, okay. Just, I don't want to say like, oh, I had the wrong time, and you guys are like, you're dumb. So I just asked and seemed dumb instead. <laughs> Oops, more loud noises. Sorry, Nikki. Um, so anyway, so you get a bunch of little Mario Badascu cleansing products and his face mist and everything, which we're about to go to Disney and I'm super excited because I know I can bring this stuff with me in my travel bag, which I will do. I'll show you guys what I carry in my travel bag because it's kind of cool too. But I know I can fit these nicely in there without taking a bunch of room up and we're only going to be there for like nine days. So this should work pretty nicely for the time we're there. I got, I picked up some more LA Girl Pro Concealers. Use them for a while now. I've used their, um, the color correcting ones I've used, this is actually a darker shade than what I bought originally. This is, I don't even know, creamy beige. Um, and I switched to creamy beige actually because in a free gift a while ago I got mini versions of it and they were in the shade creamy beige and I was like, that's gonna be too dark for me. But for some reason, it looks great under my foundation. It doesn't darken me up. It, it still does a great job concealing. I don't feel like it's the wrong color for me when I blend it out with my foundation. So I went ahead and was just like, you know what? It's on sale. They were like $2.99 a piece. So I went ahead and got two of them in creamy beige in full size so that I would have them because I know those minis are going to run out soon. I've been using them for a while. So, And then I also picked up the LA Girl Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. Don't know how it works and don't know if I'm going to like it. All I know is that it was on sale for like $4 and it was normally $9 and I decided it was worth a try just because I know I like their concealers. Pretty much the whole beauty community agrees that the LA Girl concealers are really, really good for their price. They're cheap, but they're quality and that's a big deal. Um, that speaks a lot about a company. So, and there's thunder. <laughs> it's about to rain, y'all. Um, so anyway, so I picked that one up. These were my messed up products. They are Hask Unwind Repair Expert Red Wine Inspired Con Repairing Shampoo and Conditioners. Unfortunately for me, I'm gonna throw my phone on the ground because it's vibrating. Um, unfortunately for me, they came completely opened, covered in soap. My whole box was messed up. I was like, yo. What the f Elta? I emailed them really quickly after I got the box and I was like, look guys, this happens all the time. I always get broken products and stuff like that. But I mean, I love you guys. I'm not gonna stop using you guys, but like, come on, we gotta be able to fix this, right? And um, they emailed me back and they said, do you want us to reship it or do you want a refund? And I chose the refund just because for shampoos and stuff, it is very hard to ensure that they're gonna show up safely. Unfortunately, this cap just came untwisted. There's nothing wrong with it, but like, about, I would say a fourth of the product was wasted. So they were very nice, they gave me a refund. They weren't super expensive products, so my refund was like $10. But um, I will still be able to use these, I'm sure. I just won't have the full ones. You can tell just by the weight that they're much lighter than they should be. So I was a little disappointed in that, but I mean, overall, the products that I got, the price that I got for all of every, everything all combined, it was definitely a steal. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite hauls I've done in a really long time just because I feel like I got a good quantity of products for a very low price. I mean, $100 is really nothing in the beauty world. So what I got, I think is all usable. I think it's all quality. It's gonna create some really good content for you guys. Dang, that thunder. So I really, I thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. I was really excited about doing this particular haul because like I said, I feel like what I got was a great amount of stuff for a great price. So if you guys enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps our page. And if you really enjoyed it, check out some of my other videos and then subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you see every time we're uploading videos. We're trying to do it as close to daily as possible right now. So it's a really good time to subscribe and get in on the ground floor of what should be this goodness. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, stay girly, but with a dark twist.